milk is a deposit that looks like a white paste accumulated on the walls of caves. It can be hundreds of years old. It can be thousands of years old. There's research that shows that it might be helpful in the medical world, um, that it might also be helpful with understanding how organisms will survive in um, more extreme environments like space. I think moon milk is extremely mysterious. Um, I think that very few of us have a, a good grasp of um, what it is, how it gets there. As we take more samples, we need to physically be able to access them, so I need to be able to fit within it and then I need to be able to fit into a place that goes into absolute darkness, where not even night vision goggles will work anymore. Uh, my goals as a caver is to make caving more accessible to everyone, um, and to hopefully be able to share that they're more than just a, a dirty, dark hole underground, that they're special environments to be looked after and, and cared for. The very first time I went caving, I was probably about 16 years old and uh, in Northern Virginia in the Appalachians. And my brother and I crawled into a hole in the ground with flashlights, with no helmets. And I remember that. I've been hooked ever since. Moon milk was found in caves throughout the world and also locally here in Rat's Nest Cave, which is near Cochrane, Alberta. And that's of my particular interest, because there is a, a very good sized moon milk deposit in Rat's Nets Cave. If you're well beyond the light zone near the entrance, you turn off your lights, and it's an experience of absolute total darkness. And it's dead quiet unless you hear the drip of running water. Normally, when it's in large masses, it will take something called moon milk flowers, which will start as a a mat that covers up the rock, and as it gets larger, it creates bulbous or large structures, kind of like popcorn-looking structures on it. Moon milk has been known in caves throughout the world, from high alpine caves right on down to desert caves and in, in the tropics. And it's been known throughout history. And actually, it was used by uh, cultures in the Middle East in ancient times and it was used as a cosmetic. We don't really understand the origin of what moon milk really is and what causes it to be in the form that it is. Now, the controversy is that when you look at moon milk under a micro electron microscope, it's composed of needle-like calcite crystals. Now, the origin of that is very controversial. In many moon milk deposits in the world, it is believed to be a product of bacteria aiding in the precipitation of the calcium carbonate in needle form. But that bacteria may be long gone and dead. However, in many caves, we have exactly the same crystals and no evidence whatsoever of that biofilm. Uh, some of the current research shows that it's bacterial and sometimes algae in origins. And then sometimes it's just minerals coming out of the rock on the walls inside caves. My particular interest, if you look at the actual needles of an electron microscope in moon milk, they have a peculiar shape along one side. It's like a striation or a lifelong indentation. And we really don't understand the origin of that. About moon milk, I'd probably say that most things are still fairly unknown about it. Um, and as they study more caves, they're finding out that there's more variety to it than we originally thought.